Hi guys, my name is Dr. Joe Brown. Are you tired, fatigued, no energy? Then listen up. So if you're one of these people who are constantly tired, doesn't matter what you do, what you drink, what you take, and how many hours of sleep, let me tell you some things to do to check for so that we can get you feeling better, okay? Because if you're one of these people that it doesn't matter what you do and you still feel like in a couple hours after you woke up, you're already drained, you're already going for the coffee, two o'clock in the afternoon, you're already wanting to lay down and take another nap, something's not right, okay? So let me just walk you through a list of things that we can check to see what's going on with you and then things that I want you to do to actually improve your energy levels naturally, all right? So number one, if you're feeling tired and fatigued, I want you to either contact me or contact your doctor, and I want you to get what's called a CBC and chem panel done. Now, this is blood work that we can check your different blood cells and what's going on with you, all right? And specifically, things that we want to be looking for and things I want you looking for. I don't want you just to go to your doctor and just, he says, well, everything looks okay. Get a copy of it and look at it yourself and or send me a copy and I will go over it with you. I want to make sure that you are looking at your red blood cells, your hemoglobin, your hematocrit levels, and your iron levels, okay? And all of those are extremely important. So when you get this done, remember, you want to have a CBC and chem panel done and then ask them to also run a separate iron panel so that we can look at those things. Because if you are low in any of those areas, you may be anemic, all right? Now, what are things that you can do about it to help your energy levels, whether you're anemic or your lab comes back normal? Vitamins, all right? I want you taking a good quality multivitamin, very important. And make sure that you're taking B vitamins. B vitamins specifically, B1, B2, B3, B5 and B6, B12, and folate. You wanna make sure that you're taking high doses of those B vitamins. Yes, the other electrolytes and vitamins and minerals are gonna help you, but those are specifically going to help to increase your energy levels because those have a specific affinity of increasing your red blood cells, hemoglobin, and hematocrit, and they help out your natural iron levels in your body, like we just talked about. Number three, you can either come into my office, contact me and I can mail it out to you, or you can go into your other doctor to get what's called B12, magnesium, and B6 injections done. Now, what is this? So we use a specific form. There's three different forms of B12. There's cyanocobalamin, methylcobalamin, and hydroxycobalamin, okay? Now, what you need to know is that methylcobalamin, the middle one, is the one that we specifically use for injections. It's the most absorbable form, and it helps out most with nerves, all right? So that's the one that is preferred if you're gonna do injections correctly. And then you, what you want to mix it with is magnesium and B6. And these injections are usually done in the side of the arm here or in the side of the buttocks area here, okay? So your doctor will either know how to do that or if you contact me and we ship this stuff out to you, I will go through with you and we will mail you out the supplies that you need and you can actually give them to you yourself or your brother or wife or husband, whoever. They can help administer stuff. It's really, really easy. But that's the quickest way to get your B vitamins up, which will help your energy levels within hours, okay? Number four, diet. Now, too many people are maintaining a crappy diet, all right? There's no other way to put it. You guys are eating like shit, all right? I want you guys to eat better. So what does that mean? I want you getting off of your carbohydrate-type foods. So whether you're eating breads, pastas, uh heavy rice products. So get rid of the carbohydrate type products. There's too many breads, uh, rices, uh, muffins, and all the stuff with the high carbohydrates in it 
you're going to feel sluggish after you eat it. And then make sure that you're reducing your coffee and your black tea intake. All right? Because you're getting that boost of caffeine, but then after you get it, you're actually fizzling out after that. And then one that people kind of overlook with fatigue is dairy products. Be careful with your dairy products. It often actually makes you feel more sluggish and more mucusy in your mucous membranes, right? And number five here, let's talk about things I want you eating, all right? Now, these are things that are going to help increase those B vitamins, hence your iron and your red blood cell count. I want you eating things like red meat, chicken, turkey, salmon, or fish in general, especially the red meat, the chicken, the turkey, and the salmon. Those things are going to help to increase your red blood cells and your iron levels, and also liver. A lot of people don't like liver. I can't stand it. But if you have patients or yourself or you have somebody who has a lower iron count, eating red meat products or those meat products and or liver is a quick and easy way to boost it up. All right? Now, let's talk about just a few more things from a dietary standpoint that helps there. All right? Seaweed. Now, many Americans never eat seaweed. We don't even think about it. But you can buy seaweed at some of the different stores. It usually comes in a plastic or a glass package. And it's very rich in nutrients and iron. And it will help that absorption of iron very, very quickly. All right? Also, spinach. Now, we all watched Popeye when we were little, right? Popeye the Sailor Man. There's a lot of iron in spinach, so eat more of it, all right? Buckwheat. Buckwheat is a grain, so if you can get rid of your pastas and your, and your rices and your couscous and your things like that, eat more buckwheat because it really, really helps. And then the last couple things I want to mention are oatmeal and then different things like pears, apples, beets, and pomegranate, all right? Those things will all help to increase your red blood cell levels. So I'm Dr. Joe Brown. I hope that information was helpful. Contact me and I can send any of this stuff out to you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and or contact me through my website. Again, I'm Dr. Joe Brown. Your health is in your hands.